The overall goal of the following procedure is to use fibrin gel implantation to study vascular and alveolar regeneration in the mouse lung. This is accomplished by first preparing drops of fibrin gel supplemented with angiogenic factors. In the second step, the experimental animal is mechanically ventilated and the chest is opened. Next, a fibrin gel is carefully attached to the mouse lung with fibrin glue, and then, in the final step, the lung and implanted gel are harvested 7 to 30 days later for histological analysis. Ultimately, the blood vessel and alveolar formation within the gel implant can be assessed by immunohistochemical analysis. This method can help answer key questions in the lung vascular biology field, such as how does the organ-specific microenvironment control angiogenesis and organ morphogenesis. Demonstrating the procedure will be Tadanori Mamoto, a colleague from our laboratory. To prepare fibrin gels that contain both VEGF and BFGF, begin by warming minus 80 degrees Celsius stocks of fibrinogen and thrombin to room temperature. When the stocks are fully thawed, add thrombin, calcium chloride, VEGF, and BFGF to the fibrinogen solution in a 1.5 milliliter tube and then mix the solution by pipetting. Next. Gently pipette 200 microliters of the mixture drop by drop onto a sterile plastic dish. Incubate the drops at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 to 60 minutes until they solidify. Then use small surgical scissors to trim the gels into approximately 3 by 3 by 3.